Welcome back to Paradise Paradise Presents Void Boys, the Penelopean Islands. Void Boys. Uh, yes, every time we're about to start, like, uh, someone jokes, always, or someone makes a joke. Well, yeah, uh, what's the plan? So y'all are gonna head to the Mooners and then ask Felix for directions or get him to follow, or what, what's the plan? I think you can get Felix to follow. I mean, we get a probably get a good discount because you know Felix is our friend and you know this guy is Felix's friend. I hope. Yeah, we're all friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, as as you all go, uh, head back. Again, you're using uh, Captain Hargreave to uh, send you all to the Mooners. Right. Yeah. And then uh, this time they allow. I don't know. The Mooners are fine with y'all boarding right next to them. And then uh, Felix looks at you and then he's like, Um, so we can ride the ship to visit my friend. It's been a while since I've seen Garin. What? What's the name? Garin. With an N. How do you spell that? G A R I N. Ah. Garin. Garin Scrapsoul. Scrapsoul. What a weird name. Soul as in soul or S O L E soul? S O U L. Oh, sure. But Felix, you have a very weird name as well. My name is very good. What are you talking about? I am Felix Steelheart. Artificer of Morado. What of Mura. Lead creator of the inventor of the Mooner. Brilliant. I trust you, Felix. Mm-hmm. Hey, Felix, uh, do you think then, you know, if you and Gary work together to make this uh, crossbow, you would, you know, you could work faster, you know? Garin will not make crossbows. He created trouble with uh, Rakshasas before, so now he lives in his own hut hiding from everyone else. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. We Garin but we're is... friends. We make things together, right? We make uh, schematics. We, uh, he helped me with cannon part of my cannon golem. Yeah. Interesting. He's made stuff made stuff against Rakshasas. Hmm. Interesting. Perhaps we could egg him into doing something for us then. Mm-hmm. You can definitely uh, try. Mm-hmm. How long hey. how long more do we need to get? I don't know how far is this town away? His house um Depending, it moves around. Oh, right. Oh, so it's a moving but castle. I... Oh. But I, not a castle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, more like a tiny hut. Hmm. hmm. Uh, Maybe curious. about a week we will see it. Yeah. Right. Maybe yeah. between one week to two weeks, depending. Oh shit! If wow. we're lucky, um, we see him earlier. Right then. Our friend here has a tiny hut as well. Oh yeah, definitely I do. Just don't have it prepared right now. <laughs> I don't have a hut, but I have a cannon golem. That's actually hey, much uh, cooler. Felix, if you're bored, yes. would you want to see how you could make my javelins cooler? How do I make your javelins cooler? I don't know, make them stronger, faster, or or find a way that I don't have to buy so many javelins. That is a weird request, but if I come up with anything, I would let you know. Okay, that's all I ask. Thank you, great inventor. Yeah. 
So, what is the plan? We go see his moving hut now. Yep, that's the next cause of action. Let us leave. Is Catherine following us or? Will yeah, that yeah, be Catherine's late? there. Yeah, yeah Catherine's oh. there. Hey. Oh, this is Catherine, by the way. <laughs> Howdy. And then he's like, um, how D. And then he <laughs> shakes her hand. How D. And then, yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to do on this ship? If not, the ship will start sailing in that direction towards the west. So we're we're on board the the Marooners, uh, the, the Crimson Banana, going towards the west. Yeah, and I, I've, I've started doing something new where I create a scenic. Oh, interesting. We have enough. Oh, shit. Just so that, you know, there's, there's more stuff that we can change over to the map, make it a bit more interactive and stuff. Oh, hey! I think it's really nice. Uh, sorry, uh, character. It's very nice of you, Captain, to give us passage westward. I am not the captain, I'm just the artificer. No, I mean, I'm joking. Wherever the captain is, I relay that message. Oh. Oh, okay, you directly talk to, to Captain Savage Soul. Yeah. Honestly, I am just glad that you didn't make fun of my magic when it didn't work. You know, I've always wanted to be a mage, but I've always been more muscular than... I mean, I'm not saying that I'm not very intelligent, but uh, I just don't have enough time to read all the books. So I spend more time... He swings his great axe. Intelligence is overrated, Captain. Have you ever thought of becoming a muscle wizard? I mean, I can already do magic, I just don't know what will happen. That's more than I can. Well, that's good enough, I guess. And then I swing my pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The ship sails. It's a relatively peaceful ride because y'all are very close to the coast. Can Demaya make yet another constitution? Saving throw. So wait, this is the last one. No? Uh, I don't know. Oh my god. Constitution saving throw. Oh wait, I have two advantages. One from last week? <sighs> yeah, you do. <laughs> that sigh. Oh. That was bad. <laughs> I will use my lucky to reroll <laughs> one of it. Wow. That was really bad. Oh man. Come on, big money, big money. Wow. Wow, well done. Okay, <laughs> one more, one more. Let's just go. You, you rolled a six. Oh. Come on. <laughs> a nine. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? My last one. Wait. Two, oh yeah. my god. Roll once, twice. Oh, last this one. is with oh, advantage, wow. and then also you're lucky, right? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> All three luckies. Okay, fine. <laughs> god, my, I used my last lucky. Oh god. I would have died. Uh, uh. Alright. So, just. It's been. It's been a. Uh, it's been a month or. Uh, in our time, right, since we started doing this, uh, just to put into perspective, uh, Ari has lucky and has had multiple advantages, right? Succeeded five times and failed four times. What? Well, that's quite. That's quite rough. That's quite, quite, quite close. Up. Yeah, that's quite. That's quite bad. You you could have died. Um, you. <laughs> Death. You get your strength back. Oh, you already have your strength back. Uh, you no longer have the poison condition. 
yeah, you're back to normal. Your skin is still a little gaunt, uh, but you are feeling more like yourself. Uh-huh. Uh, it'll take a while for the powers to settle settle in. Yeah, uh, the hunger, you still feel the hunger mm-hmm. for blood, flesh, and viscera, uh, but it's manageable. What does it look like when you realize that um, you reach the point where there won't be any more changes? I think I still haven't come in terms of it. I think I'm still expecting something. A baby. So wait, if if Bo was to put remove curse, right? Yeah. Nothing's gonna work, right? You, you won't know. You won't try, know it, now. try it, try it, try it. Yeah, let's do it. Eat another egg. But, but yeah, you you feel stronger. The ship sails, uh, and eventually you see this hut this walking is... along the beach. Is this on the same day? Uh, no, this is like a, a week in. Okay. Yeah, because uh, it takes... We, we we do the Demaya Constitution roll every week in right. game week. So yeah, the week passes and then you see this ship with uh, these four mechanical legs, uh, spider-like legs moving along the beach. Um, that is um, Garen's hut. Oh, and in this time, like, is the crossbow done? Uh, yeah, yeah, so the first crossbow is done. Nice. Get crossbow. Yeah, and they most probably got resources along the way. Uh, it's a light crossbow. Yeah. So I'll drop that into your okay. sheet. Or who do you want to give it to? Oh, uh, this is for me first, for now. <laughs> got it. You with noise. Yeah. Did I? I would say retroactively, you could have bought bolts or arrows that were bolt-like. We still have them, right? I think the Maya has quite a few. I do have a few, but. Let's see, I've got I've got twenty bolts. We have a bolt. <laughs> yeah. I've got twenty bolts and a crossbow. Mm. Yeah. But we still need to buy more bolts. Yeah we do. Yeah we can think about that later on, but twenty is quite quite a good number I guess. Yeah, still so you all have a total of 20 across, well, between the two of you. Mm-hmm. Do you want to split it or...? Mm-hmm. Maybe not right now, because I don't think we're going to fight any rock trucks. So. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Don't you curse it. <laughs> yeah, jinx it, but oh well, whatever. Let's go. Garen. Yeah. So, um, the ship sails close enough for y'all to take uh, canoes down into uh, the beach area, right? And then you all walk over. um, Garin, Garin, I got friends, Garin. And he starts waving and then the hut stops and then it slowly lowers itself and then you see the legs fold in. Wow. And then the door opens up and you see this gnome um, with a, a tiny pin beard and runs up to uh, Felix and then jumps and hugs him and is like brother and oh, then okay. um, and then the gnome is like it's been a long time yeah well who are your friends mm, hello there I'm a gnome my name is Bo you know, you know me very nice to meet you, Bolvar. My name is uh, Garin Scrapsol. Mm-hmm. 
uh, Felix tells me you're pretty, you're really good uh, artificer, and you could help us out with um, something. Uh, what exactly are you looking for? I'm looking for you know something like a gas mask, to keep us safe from toxic gas. Toxic gas. Mm-hmm. That is very specific. Who told you? Told us what? About my skill set. Oh, we basically just asked Felix, and Felix, you know, thought, you know. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, I can make some. How many are you looking at? Oh, wait, is he asking how we know about? Oh, um. Yeah, he's asking about how you know about oh. his him being the artificer who can make gas masks. Oh, uh, I think Tausi was the one that told us, right? Avra. Oh, Avra, right. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to tell him that, but uh, yeah, um, hearsay, I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, what do you say? <laughs> how many of you need the masks? I guess all of us. Five. Five? Wait, including... Um... Oh yeah, including Catherine. Catherine. And we need one really small one. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh, so cute! Wait. So fresh. Oh, right. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> what are you using these gas masks for? Fumigation. Mm. Yeah. No, just... I, I need specific information so I can uh, tune it Jeez. to the specific types of magics and particles. Who has a map? <laughs> who took the map? I didn't take it. <laughs> I, okay, one of us took it probably. I, who, who... I okay, I think Boba was you. Okay, fine. Boba probably had the map. It's always gonna be you. Okay, so like, okay, fine. Boba's You're the map. more responsible one. <laughs> Okay, and, and in my time studying the map on the ship, <laughs> which I prob- which Bova would probably have done, so like did they describe what kind of gas in the map? Uh, I think the main information that Talsi would have given you is that it's a, a, a sewage, mm-hmm. and there are lots of creatures that have been basically dumped oh, down right. here. All right. Okay. So uh, not entirely clear. Well, um, we're looking for something. We intend on uh, doing some dungeoning in the sewers. Yeah, you see, we're adventurous, so naturally, you know, dungeons have uh, monsters, and you know, we're here to help. Which city are you traveling through? Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be a specific city, you know. Plenty of cities that need help clearing their sewers. You see, if you are trying to infiltrate the sewage in Hazelton, it'll be very different from the sewage in Malalim, uh, the deep city. Or the bandit town sewage up north, they are very different. Okay, so let's say if we're gonna go to um, the deep city. For example, you know, not, not not necessarily, you know, just an example. What, what's the difference in the tech, the gas mask that you make for us? They say that the gases in the deep city are so noxious and are filled with so much necromantic magic that the dead come back to life. Hmm. That there are oozes that literally fart out gases that are acidic to your lungs hmm. what would happen if that someone... there are hmm? what would happen if someone were to breathe that in it would burn you from the inside out slowly hmm. alright how about that could you put a gas mask for that I will and I can of course, for a price, but why are you going to the sewage there? Come, you know what? Come inside my hut. Let me make some tea. Alright then. Then go in. 
And then you see him uh, wobble back into his, because he has a he has just like lots of random trinkets all over his body that it's hard for him to walk oh. normally because oh. it's bumping like all his joints and. What kind of trinkets can I like off the top? Like when Boba looks at him, like you see, there there are like three watches hanging from his shoulder, and oh. then they're all pointing at different times. Um, there, there's like gears that keep snapping the shoulder pad in and out. Okay. So just like, <laughs> like over and over again, and yeah, just a lot of random stuff hanging sure. um, from from his outfit. And then he, yeah, he wobbles back in, opens up the door, uh, starts making some uh, tea for y'all. I don't worry, my hut is protected. Anti scrying magic. The Rakshasa cannot hear you here. They cannot even see us. That's, that's good no news. one can, in theory. Hmm. That's good news. Um, look, uh, I would love to be honest with you then, since we are in an environment where we can do that, can be so. Um, we're looking. F- I, we know, we hear that, you know, we've had some problems with the Rakshasa. We trust you to making us something that could help us infiltrate the uh, Deep City Palace. You want to go into the Palace of the Deep City where Kasmal Shai lives, the strongest Rakshasa in all of Maron, possibly the Penelope Islands, maybe even the world. Mm. We're not very smart, we just, you know going with the flow, so... Yep. And then, uh... Catherine... She's like... She's holding her dagger. And she pulls it out. And then she just, like, looks at it and she's like... Well, the faster you tell us, the faster we can go screw him over. And then... He looks, and then he's like, So you are going to kill him? No, uh, don't think we can do that, but we're gonna try to get into some business with uh, his stuff, you know. He's here a couple of his important stuff. Mm. I'll make the masks. I do have three prepared, but uh, I do have the supplies already, and it'll take me... Just a couple of hours. Can you wait? Sure can, if you don't mind having us in your heart. Um, also, by the way, how do you fashion this? Guys, do you remember the teeth thing that uh, stopped uh, Rakshasas from reading minds? How is that the same thing that you... Is that the same thing you do here in your heart? I do not make those kind of gems. Uh, that might be useful, though, in the long run. Uh, they, even though they keep the Rakshasa from reading, they send out a massive signal that there is an empty space. Uh. So, I avoid anything that will bring attention to me. Alright, well, thank you for that. Uh, maybe just to check. So I take out my Moira's locket. Right? Yeah. Do you think this would help with the gas? Hmm. You have protection from disease, you have advantage on saving throws against poison conditions. Yeah, he, he, he starts casting identify on it. Mm-hmm. And then he, he blinks. He's like... The gases in the deep city are magical. I am not entirely sure how powerful this specific locket is. It may help if my gas masks do not work. Hmm. Alright, then, then stick to the gas mask. How much would that be for all And then five? He, he, he... Yeah, and then he walks over to Bolt. Mm-hmm. Hello. Do you breathe? 
That's true. Well, this one is has an advantage against being poisoned, and I'm resistant to poison damage. I am immune to disease. Do you not know about? Uh, cover my face. I will make one for you, but I feel like it might be redundant. Your biomechanics are very impressive. Thank you. Mm. Well, you Almost know. Almost unnatural. Uh, thanks. Well, an a spare mask might be good just in case. Hmm. Oh, uh, do you have anything that might help us against... Because you did mention there are, might be some undead. Anything that could help us against that? Hmm. Perhaps there could be... a way to... Now I'm thinking. The undead... They do not attack each other. Yes. Oh, they don't? Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. They should. They don't, they're they're unintelligent, and at least those in Malalim they um, roam on their own, and they know to tell the difference between the living and the dead. If I could mask your scent, well, your whatever they use, in theory, we could create something. Ooh, that sounds good. What does everyone think? I feel like... Yeah, you feel like... I will need... um, At least one undead creature to experiment on if any of you know how to make one or find one. (laughs) Well... Give me one day. And then I think uh, we should be able to figure out something. I I feel like we can already use some divinity or transmutation to change the effects, but I think I could create something that could temporarily hide your scent of being alive. Think of it as a reverse spare the dying. Oh, hey, you know that one. I can spare the dying. <laughs> It has no effect on people who are alive. But you have been spared nonetheless. You're welcome. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's useful information. Are there any undead around this area? (laughs) Tamaya looks undead. Very much alive. No, she's pregnant. Although she yes, does so, have a she does have a bit uh, of a glow to her recently pregnancy. Glow. I'll, I'll I'll get started on the on the masks and if you figure out if there is an undead that we can test on. Sure. Sure. Yep. Okay. Then he he goes to his work table and he starts. Uh, Getting pieces of junk together and fashioning them. Nice. Well, anyway, how much is a mask? I haven't got to ask. You will see that Casmile owns a lot of expensive things. If you can bring back even a single goblet or chandelier or candle stand. That will be worth more than enough to sustain me for a year or so. What? We'll do that then. Hey, we should get one of those um, bag of holdings, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, talking about bag of holdings, would you be keen to... I mean, you as a... I mean, you probably don't get a lot of customers, do you? Uh, we have something <laughs> that can help bridge that. Salesman. I am interested. What are you talking about? And I take out the spider backpack and like, here you go. Um, I can't, we kind of run a, uh, or rather I kind of run a 
enchanting shop with my associate. And, uh, you know. Oh, you are also an enchanter, a magical uh, item maker. Uh, not, not, not really. Um, my associate is, sort of. So, basically, you put your stuff in here. It appears in my shop, and basically, we help you sell your stuff, and we get a small cut, and you get the majority share of it. Oh, do you mind if I borrow the bag? Absolutely. So he takes the bag, he starts examining it, mm -hmm. he's like figuring out where all the gears are, and he starts pressing buttons on the bag. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly you hear, <laughs> My name is Rory Vertuza. You have accessed one of these spider bags. Yes, I've changed it to spider. If you wish to make a deal with me, we can actually sell your wares all over Penelope Islands. Currently, only Verde, Greece, and Amario. Disclaimers are important. If you wish to continue, press, and then one of the buttons light up. If you wish to decline, <laughs> press, and another button lights up. And then he looks at all of you, and then he presses the <laughs> accept. And then the spider jumps out of his hand. Uh, and then starts climbing onto one of the walls. And then um, there's a small, like, illusion that appears in front of the items that are for sale. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. Careful there, that's, that's not a real spider. I, I guess I can sell my that's gas clean. masks through here and... It's clean, I mean, more cool. There are no... I don't think there's any way to trace me. This is a demi-plane. Oh, that is so true. I, I appreciate this. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, it's because you're hidden, and this is a spider thing, so it's kind of like uh, you are in like the dark web <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> right? What, what is this dark web that you speak of? The spider, uh, spider web. This, yes, because the spider bag and you are untraceable. You can nice, sell nice. shady things. I mean, uh, gas masks. I mean, yes. Are sure. they shady? I mean, they shade your face. Yeah. Yes. Is that what we're calling it? Calling cool. it cool. <laughs> the dark web. What a well, creative bunch. <laughs> I will. I'll make the gas masks. Mm -hmm. Um, with the degree of poisonousness in those sewers, your gas masks will work for about eight hours. Oh eight shit! Hours. Ah, no long rest, huh? <laughs> All right then. Could we have double the amount, I guess. You know, in case it breaks or in case we need more time. Um, it will it will take a while, but don't do not fear of the gas. If you inhale it for about half an hour to an hour, it will hurt, but you should be fine. Hmm. All right then. I don't know. You guys think one is enough, or should we get extra? Right, if I make more, we will need to get more supplies. Ah oh, shit! So how many could you make for us right now? Total, I have three with me, and I can make another three over the next couple of hours. Alright then. Three it is. Wait, what about... Uh, okay. So, so total of six. Okay. Perhaps you could make another couple more, and then we could... If we need to get more from you, you can do it. We can do it through the spider bag. If you find someone else to... Activate it, yes. It has an artificer's mark. I'm not sure how oh. enchanters or wizards will figure it out. Ah, shit, okay. Hmm. Alright then, yeah, I guess not. I think whoever made this was quite lucky that you gave it to me specifically. Hmm. No such thing as luck. <laughs> well. 
I look at the Maya. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I, I just smile. <laughs> Shall we get to work? And he starts fashioning. All right. And while well, he's working, right? Yeah. So I, a couple. Yep. What else? I ask him about like, do you make any stuffs? Do you have any enchanted, you know, quarter stuffs I could, you know, pro- perhaps use as a wizard? Oh, yeah, interesting. I actually just spend most of my time making relatively non-offensive objects. Mm. Um. I tried to wage war with uh, Rakshasa and they wiped my memory of how to be violent. What? Hmm. You tried to wage war with Rakshasa by yourself? I don't remember who I was with, but I think Kasmal knew that it would be more painful for me to know that I do not know things. He sucks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, hopefully things get better. And then Boba just awkwardly shrugs. <laughs> if you kill Gasmel Shai, you should be fine. And I don't I think we'll, we'll we'll try. We'll see how it goes. I think best case scenario is we we do not get noticed and. Uh, get out of there immediately mm. yep right, so a couple of hours pass uh, he he has this robot assistant that brings you all like snacks like chips and stuff nice oh man an assistant oh hello thanks Bin uh, let me just shout out yeah Oh, yeah, like a couple of hours pass. They make the gas masks. Um, he designs them to fit each of you. And Fruff? Right. And Fruff. Oh. So, total. To, to, count is a total of six plus one for Fruff. Okay, so, you okay. have one spare one. All right. Um, it can magically resize itself as well. Well, mechanically, actually. And then he looks at you. All and he's like, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you. <clears throat> yep. I don't know what else to say. Nice. Well, I think it's time for us to leave, y'all. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes. I-, I don't mean to be pushy, but... I would love to steal these gems from him. Um, also, by the way, uh, uh, Catherine, do you have an exit plan? Actually, do does any of us have an exit plan? We go in there, uh, 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 uh Kashmael will know we're there. Uh, so... Let me just walk out. Yeah, walk. Okay, I can fly. Yes, well, you can, but uh, this one can't. I heard... Yeah. I heard that there is a teleportation <gasps> circle in there. <gasps> and he, she looks at Bolvar. C- could you cast a teleportation spell? No. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I'm not high enough level to do that. <laughs> oh, they're gonna say you're not high enough, full stop. <laughs> uh, check your books, check your books. Wait, wait, wait. If I'm level 8, wait, let me check. Level 8 can do level 5 as well. <laughs> Alright, I don't think so. Nope, can't. <clears throat> he, he, I know that he has. I know that he has some kind of. Spell scroll chamber. Perhaps you could find one of the scrolls there. Hmm. Yeah. Well, if not, we need to come out the way we came in. We have to do it quick. In and out in another eight hours. 
So I guess we have to kill Kashmir. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds simple enough. Yeah, no big deal. He's only the strongest. Yeah, he yeah, can't be that hard. Silence you. <laughs> I guess we could, you know. I know Avra said that he could help out. How though? I don't know. We could probably ask him about the game plan. He did say he could, uh, you know, get us in or something like that. I remember that. Did I remember correctly? <laughs> DM. <laughs> uh, you could send him a message. I could send him a message. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, yeah. Now or on no, the no. Way I back? guess I guess on the way yeah. back or something. Like that. We can just yeah, like, update yeah, yeah, him yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So how are you all heading back to the deep city? Uh, let me let me bring you all back to the to the main map of the islands. All right, uh, no. and let me show you all where the hut is at the moment. Yeah, I wish Felix goodbye and thank you so much for all your help, Felix. Love you. <laughs> ah, the deep right. city. Let me configure permissions. Yeah, so it's you're actually closer to Deep City now than you were before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a, about a week closer. Mm, wait, I don't see the cities in the map. Uh, do you do you see Garen's hut here? No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you click on the journal tab, you should see it. Yeah. So distance-wise, it's if you all travel. Well, DM notes. Pull it. Pull out the DM notes. <laughs> I see everyone's mouth, my mouth yeah, is yeah. hovering Just... around. Wait, hold on, I think journal entry? No, no, uh, on the left side, yeah. journal notes, under the... It's one of the, the one that looks like a bookmark. Oh. So yeah, you all no. walk about 40 km per day, and it's about, it's about 10 days to the deep city from here. Less than. Well, oh, is my magic crossbow done? Uh, no. Okay. It's only been seven days. Shit. So you need another two to three days. Maybe we just hang around his hut for two days. <laughs> no, I oh, I mean, we can move into another hut. <clears throat> oh, like a small, a tiny one. Exactly like a tiny one. Mm. Actually, that's a weird thing. I can't see all the stuff. Like it's. You need to go to the left, and then there is a journal notes tab. There. It looks like a bookmark. It looks like a bookmark. Uh, Can you just clip and then just send him the link of your? Oh no, done. Last twenty seconds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> done. Fucking <laughs> okay, hell. Yeah. Oh, mercy, not me. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if you want, you can wait two days. Uh, but I have two crossbows, so I, I don't need two crossbows, kind of. We all need. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, fine. If we wait two days, I'm okay waiting two days. And then we can Is Cash ring cool with waiting two days, though? Uh, she is itching, itching to go. But she will not leave without y'all. She knows that she can't survive on her own. Yeah. Wait, what does Catherine have against uh, Kashmail? Oh yeah, no, sorry. Yeah. Just, oh yeah, yeah, I remember this story. Yeah. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, we can montage through those two days. Yeah. Um, Catherine most probably gets annoyed, but bearable. Like she just. She doesn't disturb anyone about it. It's just visible that she's 
uh, impatient. Uh, yeah, so you, you do have your magical crossbow. Nice. Uh, basically, on a natural 20, it'll automatically shoot again. Like a very familiar crossbow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. I'll add that to your sheet um, post, yeah. post session. Crossbow. Yeah, so are you leaving from here or do you want to go back to Sepia? I don't know what else the party want to do. Like, do we need more I prep? But the thing is, we don't have much money to get anything. Also, that's a thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, I need to pay him back. So it's another one seventy-five, right? Um. Because it's two crossbows, another two hundred. You you paid how much? I last paid time? fifty, so one seventy five. Yeah, yeah, another one seventy five. Right. Wow, look at this ball. I have like forty one platinum left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, forty one. Fuck. He he was so shocked. He froze. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, it's time for us to go. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your. Your pain. crossbows better be worth it. Don't worry, they, I, they better be. Uh, anyway, I have two now. Anyone wants an extra one? I know how to use a crossbow. I don't. All right, now yeah, pass pass the crossbow to her. Well, in yeah, deep city, they're probably gonna. You know, search us for the crossbow. So you need a way to hide this. We're going through the sewer. Oh, the exit. Oh, the entrance is outside, huh? <laughs> it's gonna be very fun to break through the bars. All right then. I'll do it. And I trust you, Moku. Hmm. Anyway, are we going to talk to Avra about getting in and like the exit plan? Yeah, I'm probably going to... I uh, Okay, yeah, how about that? Like, in the two days that that was happening, could I have sent messages <laughs> to Avra yeah. about yeah, yeah. how, like, like basically telling him, like, okay, if we go through this, how do we get out safely? Since Kashmir will totally catch on to it. I think mm -hmm. it's beyond any question that he will find out that we're there so uh Avra replies with there is an insider who will provide you with a way to use the teleportation circle to get out yeah nice okay. and and then uh the thing is he says you can go anywhere you want with that teleportation circle. Any other teleportation circle. Hmm. Let's go! Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? what? Because we need, come, we need to go to another teleportation circle. Do we know another so, place with the teleportation circle? The only explicit one that we have gone in game is Pinyang's. Yes. Magic um, Circle. Bolt knows about the one in Azul. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. Moku wouldn't know, and Demaya <laughs> would know about the one in her Bloodhunter school. Looks like that's an easy way to travel, right? Super easy. So, I see that now. I think right now you all know three explicit locations that you can head into. Okay. I guess we could always head back to, you know, the... You know, the headquarters, you know? Perhaps that would be oh, a good yes. place. To it's hide for a, a bit, right? Yeah, to hide for a yeah, bit. It's been a while. Say hi to HR. 
file some claims and yep. get on with life. Yes. <laughs> Sexy insurance. claims and stuff. Yeah. No money, right? You gotta get your salary. All right. Any other things you want to do before we uh, travel? Uh, no, but how are we gonna get in like undetected? Because the minute we go in, like there'll be people after us, right? There are guards that will be patrolling outside. We can track their routes. Sneak in when they're not looking. Have you gone to the deep city before? Do you know how silly and unintelligent the guards are there? Uh, they're not even there to do their job. They're just there to get paid. That's true. Uh, I've been there once. We've been there once. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right then. Guess that's the plan, huh? We just go in and. Get out. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's always the plan. <laughs> oh, she's not gonna we end well. Sh- we okay, should make uh, copies. I, th- I think we shouldn't think too much. If not, if any of the Rakshas that come within our, well, range, they'll know exactly what we're gonna go up to. Hmm. Yep. Calm yeah. and stress-free. It's the way we should, you know, do this. No plan. Sounds like the perfect plan. Mm-hmm. I like it. It's how we've been rolling. Yep. This whole be. time. Yes. It's true. Huh? Yes. All right. By the way, the sewage map is very complicated. Um, I might send you a sample of it over the next week. All right. Okay. Yeah, so is it traveling time? Yeah, I guess. Yes, sir. Um, can you, can someone roll me a d8, please? Ah, shit. Got it. Ah. Ah. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it's a one. No, no worries, it's not bad. Okay. Aha. Uh-huh. One is. Oh, you lucky. One Y'all are lucky that? bastards. Um, one one of the days on the way there, right? Um, Kasrin gets uh, jittery. She pulls out the crossbow, and then she taps whoever is in front. Goblins up ahead. Nice. Shall we avoid them? How many? Looks like a small horde of about a dozen or so. I'll seem to be car- moving on a cart. Let's hide for a bit, huh? Don't really right, want to. Uh, take that loot. Uh, I don't know. What's your passive, um, Volvar? 14. What's Bolt's passive? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, very high. Um,. Wait, I'm just going through the timeline in my head. Wait, where is it? Uh, where am I supposed to find it in the sheet? Oh gosh. Uh, it's just it's just ten plus your. Uh, it's just eight plus your proficiency plus. Yeah. No, it's actually just ten plus your perception flat. You perception. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Okay. What? What? What's be the 17. plus? Seventeen. Yeah. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Yeah, so 17. Um, the, the goblins. Do you know any of the symbology of the void? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, only from whatever our party has informed me of. Oh, wait, you were, you were in Binyang's um, sanctum, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's At how one point? We, yeah, yeah, that's how we all met. Yeah, um, these goblins seem to be wearing um, void pendants or 
insignia. Hmm. Is that available in the merch store? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you could go check it out. Where? Where do we get to check it out? That's a good question. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, they're they're wearing symbology of the void. Uh, hey, um, Bulva looks like uh, some of your friends. Mm, perhaps, but uh, best to still avoid them. Haha! <laughs> See what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> that was unintended, but yes. Okay, then I'm probably gonna find a bush and hide behind it. Can everyone roll for stealth? Oh no! Oh, no! God damn it, Josh! Why? Because you all are hiding. You all are. Why? I am very bad at stealth. <clears throat> <sighs> Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. Two two fail. Uh three succeed. They probably hear uh, both creaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh no, overall overall as a party you all pass. Mm. Right? Uh this is a group so as long as most people pass, it's fine. Most people beat their passive perception, it's fine. So as you go through um Bovar. They don't seem to notice you, but you notice the leader is a goblin that you have met before. Oh, oh no. Oh. What? Control F, faster, Control F, search your notes. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I know, I know. Is he the one that killed? Uh, Zed. No. Yeah. Zed gun. Wow. Throw the one that you met in Amarillo. Oh, no. This is like. Oh, things, right? yes, the dust goblin says yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't Holy remember much shit. of our conversation, but like, sure. I have it written down here. Said got a dust goblin. Yep. Yeah. So fine. yeah, you. Do you let them walk past? Yeah, let them walk past. Yeah, they continue on past you. You wait. Catherine looks at you. They were wearing uh, symbology of the void, and you look like you knew. Mm-hmm. Problem? No problem. Just thought that all you void worshippers were all friends. Mm, mostly, but you know, don't want to attract unwanted attention. Well, so not all of y'all are friends. We're technically up to no good, so uh, yeah. I keep to myself. All right. And then, uh, can we make one more one d eight roll? Bet roll it. Wow. Bum, bum, bum. An eight, a one and an eight. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, this this one is this one's quite quite funny. Uh, you you see Ankegs. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, there is at least two of them. Uh, and they seem to be dragging the corpses of dead wild animals. Okay. Do they notice us? Uh, you're far enough that they haven't noticed you. They just want their food. What do we do? How many ant cakes? <laughs> At least two. Oh. I mean, I mean, but you all had a good relationship with them, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, that's all right. Just avoiding all the all the NPCs you've met before. <laughs> yep. 
which we cool. could kind of, we, we could kind of technically kick ass, but and get like 300 gold, right? It's like 150 per hit. <laughs> yeah. Nah. All right. Going once, nah. and going twice. Uh, the rest of the advent- uh, the rest of the trip should be more or less uneventful. Yeah. Uh, th- there'll be that random wild boar that tries to attack you all and just most probably fireball it or something. Uh, no issue there. And nothing out of the ordinary that we haven't already done before. Right? And then you reach, and then the edge of the forest, which is about maybe 50 feet away from the, d- the ditch where it leads into the sewage. I'll tell you, night and before then, I reach, just to declare to the DM, yep. night before I reach, I'll just switch my uh, prep spell from Tiny Hut to Wrist Pocket. Okay. Yep. And then, um, Catherine looks at you all and she says, This is it, boys. Mm-hmm. And Demaya. <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna stake out and see? Uh, yeah, we could we could stay here for a day, make a small camp, but no campfires. Yeah. And then. Oh, damn! Probably should have sold my spells. <laughs> 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 nah, because if that's gonna happen, I think uh, Bolt is gonna go through his own transformation. <laughs> Oh, into light armor? Um, not light, but... Uh, Medium. Yeah, so at least I don't want to get that stealth disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. And then she... Um, she looks at you all in your different forms, and then she... In your different form, she just says, uh, Yeah, that, that, that'll that work. Well, we don't need to stay in a whole day. We could just wait for them to walk by. And yeah. make a run for it. Alright then. If we wait for two, maybe three patrols, we'll know the intervals in which they pass by. Yeah. Alright. Sound good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do it. Come on, y'all. Let's, let's do this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you need more hype? Moku can scream if you want. No. Uh, please, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, do we ask well, Avra? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do we ask Avra like who's the inner person to help us? Oh, Avra doesn't tell. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, uh, damn it! Oh no! <laughs> Get ready for a twist. Dun dun dun. Okay, so. Gosh, my. We second. we we end the scene with. Uh, all of you hiding behind a bush, watching a pair of guards walk by the perimeter, and then the camera like pans around and zooms into the entrance of the sewage, and then it as the camera like goes through the bars, it's just all black, and then we'll end the episode there. Nice. Well, my my AC is now seventeen. Right. Uh, I think gonna... we can edit it. Oh uh, no, manual. I'm just manually changing it. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, as per usual, hi chat. As we do every week, we ask who is MVP. I just closed my Firefox. <laughs> Firefox? Firefox! Give me a second to open it up again because I accidentally closed it. Is that a spell? My, my finger slipped. Well, it basically mm. functions like a spell, so possibly um by by the way every week we do who was mvp basically someone gets inspiration inspiration is a re-roll on any d20 roll or experience at the end of the session i believe uh inspiration wasn't used today so whoever had inspiration last week can grab that uh, exp and just give me a second to figure out uh, how much that exp is. Wait, who has, who has it? Who had it? You. 
It was Barry. Huh? Me? Yeah, 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 it was you, it was you, sorry. What? Yeah, it was Ra. It was me? Yep. Not Barry? No, I, I had it the week before. Oh. Yeah, it's rough. Oh yeah, that oh, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. It was bolt by th like thirteen or something like yeah. that. Or... Oh yeah. Well, thanks, thanks, guys. Well, chat. Feel free to use biddies or grains to spam those bolts. Players, you can vote as well. Yeah. I. Yeah, and while we're doing that, let's talk about goals. So, find a new staff. You worked on it. What level are you? Oh, I'm, level I'm definitely going to level up today, so... Let yeah, me... well, what level are you? Huh? Uh, you for, for, this, for this session, you still get level 7 experience. It'll yeah, yeah. be level 8 experience sure, sure. next session. Level 7, right? Yeah. So, work towards is 350. Mm -hmm. Get a crossbow. You do have a crossbow. Mm -hmm. I have two though. Uh, because you overkilled it, uh, I'll, I'll give you seven fifty like right, medium. Nice. Because nice. you went above and beyond, and get all the pirates to join without anyone dying. Nice. There was a chance that Captain Savage Soul would have accidentally wild magic himself to death. Oh, so. True. <laughs> <laughs> just just cause. Right, of that 1.1k because the 10k tables were fun, yeah. Oh, but but I mean, the other, the other, like, like you know, it wasn't easy to convince the rest of them, right? Because you know, yeah, 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 okay. So, 1.1 1. effort, yeah. So, 1.1 1. 1 for that, all right. You should be very leveled up, yes. Now, cool. Uh, who wants to go next? I want him to roll HP. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why, why don't you do that? Why don't you oh, roll yeah, for HP? Yeah, yeah. All right. right. 21d6. And while you're oh, rolling for HP, easy. Uh, wow. Go ahead. Nice. Easy, easy. So it's plus 8. Congratulations. And, while, and go ahead and give yourself uh, inspiration as well. I believe you won. Nice. Give yourself a pat on the back. Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. Congratulations on level eight. I believe it's um ASI. Uh, yes, level eight should be ASI. I don't check. I actually have it here. Oh my god! Really? All right, Demaya. Right. Let me know. Gain no, more I think I'll go power. for feet. Ooh. All right. Yeah, we'll see how. I'll let you, you know. Think... I'll let you know. I would say that your transformation is complete, but you haven't shown it. But we can complete it. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. One thousand four hundred experience. Avoid fighting Talseed. Uh, 450. Make Bolt as piratey as possible. Oh, is that your goal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, but, oh, uh, I, I really hope we actually went for, uh, you know what I mean? Given the circumstances, that's all I could do. We could still be pirates throughout the whole... Yeah. We don't have to be pirates only on the sea. The no. Moku spin-off, mm -hmm. come on. No, because you, like, you uh, at least uh, work for it, so 450 for sure at least. Because previously, like we want, I wanted to make Moku pirate. But then I realized Bolt was like, and Moku was convincing Bolt to become pirate. So I was like, ah, oh, screw it, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bolt. Uh, find a way to equip the party with better undead finding equipment. I think. Uh, talking to. Uh, the artificer. What's the artificer's name again? Oh, my so iPad just died. Ga Garin. Garin, yeah, Garin. Uh, but you didn't do the raise undead thing. That I was quite surprised. Yeah, I need. There need to be a dead. No, uh, no, I don't think he would do it. I think he didn't have a dead body too. I mean, even if there was, I don't think it's 
bolts thing to do. Uh, but 350 for working towards. All right, 350. Um, make sure no one in the party gets <laughs> below half their HP. Yeah. <laughs> I thought uh, it was gonna be something that was gonna happen intense. I can... Yeah, I mean, there were chances of fights, but if a single fight happened, it would have been really hard. So most probably, is, I'll, I'll give you 750 for that. Wow, thank you very much. Because if even a single fight happened, uh, it would have been hard already. Even with the dust goblins, especially with the, the dust goblins. The dust goblins are a different story okay. that I shall not talk about. Okay. Uh, don't let the Maya get hit by physical damage, because Preggles. Yes. <laughs> the uh, Maya. She it, almost hurt herself. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I said I don't get. Her, she don't get hurt by others. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lawyering. 350. <laughs> okay. 350. Wow. Wow. Wait, did I just. Hold on, huh? <laughs> we just okay, well, well, we'll go to Moku. Moku, get the map of the sewers. Uh, 750. Let's finish that. Become a pirate. Would you consider yourself one with the pirate folk? You do have a red bandana. You're muted, by the way. I have a red banana. Yeah. Uh, I do think that I have interacted. I have... I'm not one yet, but one day. Okay, one day. then 3 350 for that. In Vandal Boat... I did that. You, you changed oh, mooners to mooners. Yeah, that was dope. Eh? Yeah, uh, put a seven fifty for that because you suck at persuasion, but you succeeded. Yes. That story though. Oh. I is a uh, level up. Nice. Yeah, Very I leveled well. up. I leveled up oh, as well. Both of you roll for your leveling up. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Oh, you could take the average. Okay, <laughs> everyone's everyone's level eight now. It's just uh, a D8 for me, right? Plus uh, Constitution. Wait, is Ooh. it a D8? Wait, what? For me, it's one D8. I think for you, it's what? I don't know. Uh, D10, right? D12. D12. Oh, D12. For a barbarian. Okay, there you go. Uh, because. I'm you Kasserin is the lowest level in the party. I have to level up Kasserin as well. Nice, congrats, Kasserin. She is a sorcerer, so that's 1d6. Can I use my advantage on this? One? <laughs> oh, she yeah. increases by five. Nice. I, I, my, my character doesn't seem to be leveling up. Like, you know, even like, uh, like, uh, oh, um, oh. So how? Oh, worst to roll. So, uh, you go to, you go to features, yeah. and then edit your sorcerer, or your your spell. Then go to details, and then just change the number to eight. Oops, that wrong way. Really. I think you've been using too much Reddit. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, okay. players. Okay, nice. In case we nice. all Nice, five, five is good. I rolled a... Yeah, yeah. I rolled a... <laughs> oh, so... Just to let you all know, Catherine's HP is at... 69. Nice. Nice. Why? What, what's so nice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, congratulations, players. Uh, over the week, just message me your level up stuff and I'll head it in. And rem just drop me a text about the items that you've gotten that I may not have dropped in. Like the auto crossbow, just in case I forget. That being said, thank you so much, chat, for watching. Thank you, everyone, for getting all the way to the end of this episode. Uh, we are going to rob Rakshasa oh, over the next couple of episodes. Very excited. That being said, 
um yeah we'll see you tomorrow for some homebrew review maybe some gm prep and uh do check out our new merch store if you are into this kind of stuff uh i need to order i keep forgetting i need to order at least the shirt and yeah we'll see you all soon take I care everybody too. I rolled it too. I rolled a two!